Hello everyone, welcome back to Vegan Miss Day 12. We are halfway through Vegan Miss, which is awesome. If you haven't seen some of the videos or any of the videos, I will link the playlist for you guys up above so you can check them out. Today we are going to make lasagna. This is a lasagna from the video from yesterday that I styled for you guys. And so here is the recipe on how to make it now. Lasagna used to be one of those things that I didn't entirely love when I was growing up and we always had it on special occasions. But now that I am an adult woman, I love lasagna because it's pasta and cheese and sauce and who doesn't love that? So today we're veganizing it. Let me show you how to make it. Once your oil has heated up, we're gonna add in the onions, garlic, and the vegan ground beef. You can use any ground beef crumbles you like. I used the one from Smart Life today. You can also make this a lentil bolognese if you want. I have that recipe video, I'll link it up above for you guys. Or you could just totally leave out the meat. It's totally your choice, but I am just gonna break these up and then let this cook for a few minutes. You may find that you might need to add a little extra oil, so don't be afraid to add that in. It is Christmas, this is lasagna. Don't be afraid to add that oil in for this recipe. <laughs> So I just have this on a nice low heat because I don't want anything to burn. You can also cook up the onions and garlic first for a few minutes if you want, but I'm over eager and I dumped everything in too quickly. So now into a blender, I am going to place a can of tomatoes. This is a 28, 28 ounce can of whole peeled tomatoes. So let's put that in there. And then I'm gonna fill this can up with just a little bit of water. Maybe, maybe like a quarter of the way filled with water. Not even. And I'm gonna put the top on and we're gonna lightly blend these. So we're just gonna lightly blend these up. I don't wanna over blend them. I don't want them to become complete mush and puree, just a little bit. All right, so I realized that my other pan really isn't big enough to make sauce in. So I'm gonna add these ground crumbles into here. I'm going to add in another little drizzle of oil and we're gonna add in the blended tomatoes and tomato paste now. And now I'm just gonna add in a can of tomato paste and we're gonna let that cook down in there with this. And then just like in the lentil bolognese recipe, I'm gonna fill this can with water and dump it in here. I'm just mixing it all together. This is gonna cook up. We're gonna add in a little bit of sugar to this. I always tell you guys, add sugar in. You always should add a sprinkle of sugar in because the tomatoes are very acidic. Maybe like a teaspoon and you just let that cook like that. It just helps a lot. And then we're also gonna add in a little bit of salt. Mix this up and we're just gonna let this cook while we do everything else. I have this on a really low heat to simmer and I'm just going to check it while it's cooking and make sure it doesn't need any more water, but it should be good because there's a lot of liquid in here. I'm going to make tofu rigotta for our lasagna. So I'm adding in a whole brick of tofu and I just kind of like to break it up a little bit with my hands, but I'm not too concerned because the blender is really gonna do all the work. I didn't press this or anything. We want a little bit of that liquid in there. I'm also going to add in a little bit of non-dairy milk. Not a lot, maybe like a quarter of a cup, just enough to help it we don't want this to be too liquidy. I'm gonna also add in a sprinkle of garlic powder, a little sprinkle of salt, and you can add in lemon juice and nutritional yeast if you like. Sometimes I do, but sometimes I don't, it doesn't really matter. What matters more is the saltiness and the creaminess, and you're just gonna pop the top on and lightly blend this until we get it to look like ricotta. So you're just basically going for it to have no big chunks. 
You might need to push it down a little bit or like use the baton, but you just don't want any big chunks of the tofu in there. And just to show you guys, this is what it should pretty much look like. It looks like ricotta. It's thick, it's creamy. So that's perfect. So I have two mozzarellas. The first one is my favorite, follow your heart. I'm gonna grate this and I'm gonna put this on top. This one just melts nicer and I think it'll look prettier presentation wise. And then the daya, um, so that way I can just sprinkle that in the layers. And then I also have follow your heart parm. So these are the cheeses that I'm using. So I think my water's boiling, so let's add those lasagna sheets in. Our sauce is all done cooking and just, oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this, look, the sunlight even came out. That's how beautiful it thinks the sauce is. It tastes amazing, it's not bitter, it has beautiful flavor, it's a little bit salty, a little bit sweet. You get the garlic, the onions, it is just perfect. I preheated my oven to 450, that's heating up right now, and I'm just waiting for the rest of the lasagna to cook up. This is the follow your heart, all nice and grated. You can't have too much cheese in my opinion, this was about three quarters of a block, so this will be perfect to put right on top of our beautiful lasagna, and it'll be nice and cheesy and gorgeous. And I do have the day I could add if I need to add that as well, and I'm gonna also add the Parmesan on top. So this is gonna be loaded with vegan cheese. So I have this cute little tray that says bake on it. I got it at Marshall's, of course. This is a smaller um, like dish. It's probably like a nine by 11, maybe. It's not the full 13 by nine, so this will be a smaller portion size, just so you guys know. The first thing we wanna do is add some of that beautiful meat sauce right on the bottom. And we're just going to do this so that way the lasagna doesn't stick. If your lasagna is a little bit messy, then I'm gonna say you didn't do it right. Next up, you wanna very carefully add your lasagna noodles that have been cooked. Please be careful, these will be hot. I have always have memories of like my mom being like, ow, 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 as she's making lasagna because they get so hot, but you have to assemble them. I cooked the lasagna to al dente. If you want, you can cut these edges so it's even, I don't know. I'm not like feeling like doing that. So then let's add ricotta on next. Now we wanna add a nice big layer of the ricotta. Doesn't this look like real ricotta? It's kind of weird. But really, that's all that tofu is, soybean cheese. So we'll spread this out. So let's add on our mozzarella now. Oh my gosh, isn't this looking amazing? It's looking amazing to me. All right, so I'm just gonna repeat all of that until I get to the top and then we're gonna bake it. Right, we've made it to the top of the lasagna. So I added my last few lasagna sheets on top. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of sauce right on top of here. Now let's just spread that out. I'm trying to leave a little bit of sauce for serving purposes, but that might not happen. We can now add our final bit of cheese. So let's go crazy with the mozzarella on top. Oh, this is beautiful. This is just beautiful, beautiful lasagna. We're going to add on a bunch of the vegan parm from Follow Your Heart. Because this stuff melts really nicely too and it looks good. Mm, I am so hungry. I'm not gonna be able to eat this for a long time. So what's gonna happen next is we're going to cover it in tin foil and bake it for about 20 minutes and then we're gonna take the tin foil off and finish baking it. Okay, so I set my timer for 15 minutes. We're gonna cook that in the oven at 450 for 15 minutes with the foil on, and then we're gonna take the foil off, cook it for another 15, 20 minutes, and then we gotta let it rest. If you cut into it too soon, you're just gonna end up with a delicious mess. It'll be very messy. So I'm gonna clean up the kitchen a little bit and I'll see you guys in a few minutes.
All right, guys, so our lasagna is done. I just showed you guys a few shots of it and it looks pretty incredible, I'm not gonna lie. So I have to let this sit for a little bit before I can cut into it because if I cut into it now, it's just gonna spill everywhere and I gotta take pictures and stuff. So I will um, insert some clips of it, like the inside of it and stuff here. All right guys, here is a very informal taste test since I finally finished taking all the pictures. First of all, it's amazing. There's like all of these layers of the cheese and the ricotta and the sauce, and we have extra sauce that we can add on top if we want. Look at these layers. Look at it. You get that creamy cheesiness from the ricotta and the vegan mozzarella on there. You're getting that meat flavor. These crumb balls are really good. Oh my gosh, yum. Yum, yum. So the floor recipe will be down below and on my blog. If you want to see how I actually styled this when I take the pictures, then you can watch yesterday's veganist video. And yeah, that is that. I hope you guys try this recipe out because it is so good. I can't wait to eat this in probably two hours by the time I finish taking all those pictures. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.